Hey guys, Bill here from the Tokyo Life, and today we are going to see how much food we can get for about 20 US dollars. All right, guys, so here we are at the Eon Food Style, which is uh, a supermarket chain here in Japan that can be found all over. So let's go inside and see what kind of food we can get, okay? All right guys, so we are back at the house and let's see um, all the food that we were able to get for about 20 US dollars. First off, we got teriyaki chicken and egg salad sandwich and this was 338 yen. Okay, we also picked up some noodles, some uh, so men noodles so these are kind of uh like a summer a summer noodle so you know usually you're probably more familiar with udon and soba but in the summer in japan um, we eat so many. we also got kind of a seafood uh, sashimi over rice and this was only 498 yen we also picked up shrimp tempura and some vegetables over rice and this was 398 yen and i know we're in japan but pizza this is a margarita pizza 398 yen it's still pretty warm so i think we might eat this one first and i also got uh, a bunch of different drinks and a couple desserts that i'll show you towards the end okay all right, so first we have boba tea popping boba with passion fruit and lychee. So this was, uh, I think, the first time that I saw this one. Um, I saw it like a week or two ago and it seemed pretty interesting. So I thought we would uh, pick it up and try it today. We also picked up this uh, vitamin C uh, CC lemon. It says 40 lemons worth of vitamin C. So that's a lot of lemons. A pineapple drink, a pineapple water, and this was on sale. This was only 88 yen, so super, super cheap. Let's try this, this boba tea soda drink, okay? It's, uh, it's actually not carbonated. I thought it, it was carbonated. And it, it says popping boba, but I don't feel any popping yet. So it's pretty good. Um, but I think the, the, the title is a, a bit misleading with the, uh, the popping boba. Um, I was expecting something kind of carbonated and maybe kind of like uh, with like the pop rock candy to it. But um, it's just kind of like a normal taste, kind of just like tea, like fruit tea. All right, guys, first we are going to try the pizza. So you can see that there. And let's get a slice here so it's got tomato sauce it's got a big tomato on there some fresh basil and I think, that's the, I think it's got some pesto on there as well so let's give this one a try
Hmm. Not bad for, you know, pizza that's 398 yen. So I don't know what that is. Like $2.50 or something. And you get four little slices. Um, is it the best pizza? No, definitely not. But there is really good pizza here in Japan and Tokyo. And one day I'll make a video about that. But for this, for this price, I think it's a pretty good deal. Let's try the uh, teriyaki chicken uh, salad or teriyaki chicken and egg salad. So this is a, a, a common sandwich that I usually get whenever um, I'm eating sandwiches that I get from like a convenient like 7-Eleven or Lawson. And it's pretty much just got um, egg salad, teriyaki chicken, and some lettuce in there. Mmm. Mm. Bread is very, very soft and fluffy. Very thin as well. Chicken's nice and tender. Um, the sauce is great. And egg salad, along with the lettuce, I think is uh, a really, really great combination. Sometimes when you get the egg salad at like 7-Eleven, it doesn't have the lettuce. But having the lettuce in there actually makes a pretty big difference. All right, next I'm gonna try this uh, CC lemon with the uh, Super Mario on there. There's also Luigi, uh, Princess Peach, and Toad, but I think they're all the same. It's just got different characters. carbonated sour but not as sour as I was expecting you know it says on there 40 lemons worth of vitamin C it tastes like a carbonated lemonade all right guys we are back we got some chopsticks and I think let's try the Shirashi sushi bowl, which is uh, like sashimi on top of uh, sushi rice. So I believe it's quite similar to sushi rice. And I'm not sure if this is as common in the States. I know there's like poke bowls, but these are a little bit different because the seafood is not marinated. And I might need some soy sauce, but let's try it first without the soy sauce. Tuna, um, some, some ikra, which are the salmon roll, the eggs here. And we got some fish, oh sorry, some egg. And then we got a nice big jumbo shrimp here. Throw and uh, some salmon on this one, on this bite. Mmm. Mmm. You know, even though this was from a supermarket and it was only 500 yen, quality is still really, really great. Super fresh. Look at that. This is the salmon. And there's also, I got a piece of uh, squid in there. Let's see. I think there's also some... Uh, white fish. I think it might be yellowtail.
Mm. It still tastes super fresh, guys. It does not taste fishy at all. The minced uh, tuna. Fish egg. Mm. Okay, and then last bite. I'm gonna go ahead and try that shrimp. Okay, next, let's try the somen, which is uh, cold noodles. And normally in the summer, sometimes you'll see videos of um, people catching these noodles on like a water slide. So if you ever wonder what that is, that's uh, these noodles right here, somen noodles. All right, so we got the noodles and some onions and ginger, and then some of the dipping sauce here. So let's go ahead and put our dipping sauce into the bowl. And then we also got just some water here. And the water is actually going to be used for, um, you put it on the noodles. Um, just to kind of break it up a bit because whenever it's packaged, it all kind of gets compressed together. So don't uh, accidentally put this one into your sauce. Otherwise, it's just going to be super, super watery. All right, so I'm just going to pour some of this right here. Just this water. All right, and then just kind of break it up a bit, loosen it up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my onion and ginger in my sauce. You probably can't see that, but it's in there. All right, so let's go ahead and pick up some noodles here. Maybe too much noodles, okay. And I'm just gonna dip it in, not all the way, because I find if you dip it in all the way, um, you get just too much flavor. So just about like 70% or so, and then just kind of slurp up the rest. Hmm. Very refreshing. Noodles are very, very light. So, you know, it's almost like angel hair uh, pasta, if I would compare it except you know it doesn't taste like angel hair pasta it's just super super light um kind of like rice noodles the sauce i believe is kind of like a like a dashi um, which is kind of like a made with uh, fermented fish um, it's sweet it's salty but it's not as salty as soy sauce. Um, it's not overpowering at all. Especially with the green onion and the ginger. It's a perfect combination uh, to eat in the summer. Mm. All right, let's put this one aside for just a moment. And Let's go ahead and try this right here. This is uh, a pineapple, pineapple water drink. And this tastes just like uh, how I would expect it. I think it might just be pineapple juice. Maybe it's not pineapple water. Um, I guess this, it's a little bit watered down, but I mean, it's still pretty good. If you like pineapples, then I think uh, you'll like this one. All right, and last up for our main dish here is our uh, shrimp tendon, which is uh, shrimp tempura and some vegetables and sauce on top of some rice. And this was 398 yen, guys.
and it would probably taste better if I heat it up, but I think it looks pretty good as is. Okay, so we got some shrimp, um, eggplant, mixed vegetables, and I think uh, sweet potato and even squid. We got, got a squid as well. All right, so first let's try the shrimp. I mean, it's not crispy anymore because it's been uh, covered in the sauce and been sitting for a while. Maybe for a few hours because I went to the store around 9 in the morning and they open at 7. So I think this one was probably made about an hour or two hours ago. Hmm. Mmm. Try some of the rice. Mmm. Not bad. I mean, other than it's not crispy, but the rice is still good. Um, you know, the seafood. If you love seafood like I do, you'll love, you'll love it. I believe this one is the squid. Hmm. The sauce is very sweet. Um, you typically would find the same sauce um, all over Japan if you were to eat any kind of tendon or tempura. I believe this one is the sweet potato. Mm. Kind of interesting these are called boost bites and it's like super super chewy gummy um, but this one is interesting because it's got vitamin and it also has caffeine so it says back here 100 grams I'm not sure how many grams is in this uh, this bag here it might be a hundred um, contains 59 milligrams of caffeine, which is about equal to like a small cup of coffee. I think a small cup of coffee is about 60 milligrams of caffeine. And there were two flavors. Um, this one is fruit emotion. So peach, orange, and grape. I'll show you what they look like. So they're like little gummy bears. But in the shape of a energy drink can. And you got a pretty good pretty good amount as well. Tart. And this was uh, 398 yen. It looks like it's got peach, pineapple, uh, kiwi, strawberries, and the grapefruit. And I think one of the things about Japan is you see so many um, good looking dessert, you know. Okay. We also got some cream. In here. I'm not sure what the best way to eat this would be. I'm just gonna take this from the top here. Hmm. You know, it's very light and the strawberry is sweet. If you've never had 
strawberries in Japan or fruits in general in Japan. I don't know what it is. Everything is just sweeter and just tastes super, super fresh. It's like they've almost perfected the art of、uh, fruits. And even if you go into like the supermarket and you just kind of buy, you know, of course, the more expensive fruit that you buy, it's going to taste better. Even just the regular ones that aren't as expensive still taste pretty darn good. Hmm. So that's kind of an interesting、uh, cream flavor. I'm not really sure what it is. I think it might be kind of like a chestnut flavor. Let's get some of the cake here. And some kiwi.、Mm. All right, and then last up, we got this Sunao、um, strawberry ice cream sandwich. And this was like less than 200 yen. Oh, and actually, it's not. I thought it was the.、Uh, The ice cream sandwich, guys, but it's actually just a cup of strawberry ice cream. And let's just use a fork. Let's focus here. Maybe not. Whoops, dropped a piece there. Hmm. Very nice. It's got some chunks of、uh, strawberries in there as well. And you can really taste the like, milkiness of it, like in the ice cream here. All right, guys. So, in all of the things that we got today,、um, I will put up the list of the prices here. And I'm pretty sure we spent under our budget of 20 US dollars. So,、um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And, you know, if you're planning to come to Japan, you can expect to get a pretty good value for your money if you are, you know, if you're going to be coming with US dollars, if you're an American. If you're from a different country, I don't know, you'll have to kind of check and see what the currency rate is. But for the most part, I think because the Japanese yen is currently pretty weak and it looks like it might be. Getting weaker.、Um, you know, for foreigners and for travelers, I think now is a great opportunity、uh, for you to come. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're able to see what types of different foods you can get for just $20. So, if you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content. So, until then, I'll see you in the next video.